Yo, what's up guys, it's Dolphic here. So we will be doing something a little different today. Now, we will be doing a UUG, which stands for Untitled UTMM or Undertale Monster Mania game, food tier list. Now this will be my first actual UUG video in a while. And I know I haven't uploaded much of anything really on this game in a while, but I hope you enjoy this video. And this is a breath of fresh air for me. And I will also not be talking off a script, so this is also more raw. So anyway, let's get started. So first up, we've got the anniversary cake. Now this heals 250 HP and it also gives you a 1 second force field upon use. It's reusable, it's permanent, and it has a 10 second cooldown. So the cooldown is indeed pretty good. The heal is really good. So that's basically like 25 HP per second. And then the force field is basically a free massacre soul, except shield breaking attacks will still be able to kill you. That one second force field can definitely uh, save you at times if you use it correctly. Okay, but now for the downside, um, it's a bit hard to multitask it with your other items like your other foods, your sodas, your candy bag or whatever, your dark cheese. And you also have your DPS, you need to, you need to do as much damage as possible with your weapon. So it's kind of hard to juggle all that together um, while still um, being in control of the fight. So while yes, it does take some practice to get used to it, and yes, you can definitely get used to it if you practice enough, but um, you'll probably have to organize your hotbar at times if you really want to get used to it, but anyway, when used correctly, it can work very, very well. However, uh, as for its usefulness, it's really not as useful as other things like candy bag or sans or soda, as those foods actually make a difference on the fight. While anniversary cake, it really won't make that much of a difference on the fight, uh, whether or not you have it. Like, the heals are good and the extra survivability from the force field is good. Don't get me wrong, but I just don't think that it can be considered meta. I just think that it's very useful, so I will put it in, you know, obviously the very useful tier. So next up, we've got the burger dot dot question mark. Now this just heals 225 HP, it's not permanent and it's not reusable. Yeah, it's a really boring food item. And it also has the same model as the super burger, but anyway, there's really nothing that special about it. Yes, in early game, I guess it can save you as just like the, I think it's the second best item in um, the normal shop, the angry shop. But anyway, it just heals 225 HP, that's it. So I'm just gonna put it in, um, let's see, I'll put it in the awful tier for now, but I might move it up later. Okay, anyway, next up we've got the candy bag now. Um, this food heals you by 200 HP upon use and it also gives you plus 1.25 walk speed and it has a cooldown of 8 seconds. And don't forget the most important part, it gives you a plus 7.5% damage boost. Well, arguably the most important part, but whatever, you get my drift. So anyway, the cooldown, very good. The damage boost, very good. The speed, very good, especially when you pair it with dark cheese and Sansor soda and Rancer soda and all that good stuff. This food is permanent and reusable and it does a lot of good things and I just don't see any downsides with it at all whatsoever like you should if you have this you should always be using it because the heal and the damage boost and the walk speed boost that you get from its cooldown is very very good so I think it's safe to say that we can put this in meta. Now for dark cheese now this heals you by 80 HP per use and it also gives you a plus 2.5 walk speed boost. It has a cooldown of 12 seconds, so that is pretty good. Its main usage is to give you speed, and well, it excels at that. And I forgot to mention, but both Dark Cheese and Candy Bag have a speed cap or walk speed cap of 25, so you cannot go above 25 walk speed with just these items. But that doesn't make them bad, like the walk speed boost is very good, so Dark Cheese its only use is to give you speed, and it excels at that, so I feel like I just repeated that like a hundred times already. But anyway, since it just gives you speed, um, I'm gonna put it in... Hold on, 
I think I'll put it in very useful for now because candy bag that just candy bag just uh well mm, okay meta for now I might move it down later okay here's an interesting one so now we've got Dolphix bad food also known as Dolphic annihilated gamer liquid now this one is very good as it gives you a plus 10% base damage boost off of your current base damage it gives you minus two speed and it also makes all your accessories uh, slightly bigger with no cap so it has a cooldown of 25 seconds which is pretty long and it does um, give you negative speed however I do believe that the benefits definitely outweigh the cons because this food item gives you a plus 10% base damage boost off of your current base damage so basically it'll just keep going up um, multiplicatively kind of with no limit there's no cap so it's basically like um, similar to how uh, ultra ugly soul works which is um, pre-nerf so that's like really good well yes obviously it's not exactly like pre-nerf ultra ugly soul as like it's just um, it is definitely worse but um, the way it works is basically how um, ultra ugly souls base damage boost um, works so if you got a fight with foods and it's um, considerably long like take um, the 1 million dungeon or maybe uh, Jandy for example although Jandy might not be the best example because he has a damage cap but I think you get my point you can deal exceptional amounts of damage and you can also treat this like one of the sodas except it has no cap as to how strong it can um, be so because the sodas, uh, they use uh, a regular cap of 1000% obviously, but this one, it acts on your base damage boost uh, off of your current base damage with no cap. That is very good. You can deal. So theoretically, um, given enough time, you could deal like one quadrillion damage and its negative speed can just be counteracted by something like candy bag and slash or dark cheese anyway. So because of that and uh, the effect that it has on fights, I'm gonna put it in meta and it also has a special one where you can throw it and you can do some cosmetic stuff to you and your teammates so that's pretty cool but anyway I digress so now we've got the egg hot dog the most or current most expensive food item in the game this cost 100 billion gold now as for its function it heals you by 2 HP per second as it has a cooldown of 1 second it's not automatic though it just heals you by 2 HP per use and it has a cooldown of 1 second. Self-explanatory. Now what makes it even worse is it makes um, an ear piercing sound every time you use it. And for the benefit it provides, it's really just not that good. 2 HP per second. That is ass, okay. So I will put this, um, wait no no no, it has one more benefit, I forgot guys. Um, as confirmed by ZB, uh, it will let you reap a reward in NMMR, which is No Mercy Madness, uh, Reincarnated, I think, or Reborn. Hold on, let me check. Okay, it's No Mercy Madness Resurrection. It's basically, um, if you don't know what this is, it's basically UUG2, but anyway. Yeah, Egg Hot Dog gives you a badge, which will um, give you a reward, or Egg Hot Dog's equivalent, in um, ZB's sequel to UG, NMMR. So because of that, I'm not gonna put it in Belongs in the Trash. I'm just gonna put it in the, yeah, okay, I'll put it in the Awful tier because we don't know um, how strong uh, the reward will be in NMMR. But even so, its usefulness is like, yeah, okay, you're never gonna use it. So I'm just gonna put it in Awful. It's only an awful because of the reward that you will receive in NMMR, so yeah. Okay, so now we've got Hard Mode Ugly Candy, a classic. So this heals you by 10 HP and gives you a plus 1% damage boost per use, and it has a cooldown of 1 second. Now 10 HP and 1% damage boost per second is really not that bad. However, to really make use of it, you need to be constantly using it. And because it has a cooldown of one second, that will be very hard to juggle 
with your other food items along with your weapon, especially if you have abilities, you need to juggle all of that. And it's just gonna make for not a very hard time. Like, it might force you to use a macro to fully maximize its usage. So yes, while the heal and damage boost may be good, especially in early to mid game, in late game or end game even, it just, it just falls off. So I'm just gonna put it in the okay lang tier for now. Okay, actually no, I'm gonna put it in the kind of good tier because um, it does still find some usage during fights. The heal isn't that bad and you do get a little bit of extra damage boost which can definitely have an impact on the fight. So yeah, I'll just put it in kind of good for now. Okay, so now we've got the monster candy, arguably the worst food item in the game, even worse than egg hot dog. Um, can be bought for 25 gold in the shop, I think, the angry shop. Um, not reusable, not permanent, yeah, belongs in the trash. Okay, so now we've got old food. Now this is basically the rarest item in the game that has been obtainable by normal players and has been obtained at least once. And the owner of this food is none other than Miles, but that's besides the point. So anyway, this food is basically the exact same. It's a replica, kind of, of my custom Dolphix Bad Food. However, the screen guy for the text is a bit buggy with it, but that's the only difference on the model, and it's purely cosmetic. However, unlike uh, my actual custom, this one does not have any function at all whatsoever. It has had its function completely removed. I'm not sure if it even had a function at the start when it was uh, first accidentally released into the Spencer Shrine, but in current day UUG, it does absolutely nothing. You can't even use the special one on it. So it's basically completely useless. So aside from its rarity, yeah, it's, it's ass. I think we can all agree. So now we've got the Rancer Soda. Now let me check the stats real quick. Okay, so this is a permanent reusable food item which heals you by 40 HP and gives you a plus 10% damage boost per use. And it has a cooldown of 10 seconds. Now if you think about it, if you made the most out of hard mode ugly candy, that would provide you with better stats than Rancer Soda because it would provide you with 60 more HP than Rancer Soda would in 10 seconds and they both provide uh, the same amount of damage boost in 10 seconds. However, because of its longer cooldown and giving the basically the same amount of damage boost as Hard Mode Ugly Candy, it is a lot easier to use because you don't have to constantly switch between your weapon and your other food items and the Rancer Soda, unlike Hard Mode Ugly Candy, to maximize its uh, effectiveness. So, because of that, I will put this in the very useful tier. Because yes, while this damage boost um, definitely has a great effect on the outcomes of fights, it's really not that much as compared to something like Sansor Soda. And nowadays you can reach a uh, max damage boost pretty quickly anyway. So that's why I'm putting it at very useful and not meta. And also to talk about Dark Cheese a little more on why it's there because I feel like that may be a bit of a hot take. Uh, that is because Speed is very important in fights, and this gives um, the most speed out of any other food item that is uh, reusable, of course. And with Dark Cheese, um, you can basically uh, double your speed, which is very good. It helps in dodging attacks in many fights. So because of that extra mobility, that is why I am putting it at meta. So anyway, moving on, we've got Rules Rue. Now this is the best... Um, healing food in the game uh, that isn't reusable. Well, it does heal the most HP out of any other food item in the game, that is a fact. However, it is not reusable, of course, so this is uh, buyable from a uh, rules cards shop for 10 million gold. So it can get pretty expensive, especially if you're buying it constantly and using it multiple times, but I digress. So what this does is it heals you by 9,999 HP, and it also gives you uh, plus 6 jump power. And as far as I know, this does not have a cap. So this can be very useful in dodging attacks and fights. And it can also be used as an exceptional backup heal. Because like in current day UUG, no matter what loadout you use, and if you're not using bugs, you can basically get an instant full heal. So because of its healing properties, and because of its 
jump power boosts that it gives you. I will put it at very useful. Now the only reason I put it at very useful is that it's not reusable. So you just have to constantly restock on it if you want to continue making uh, use out of it. But other than that, it is very, very good. It is a very good food item. And I do believe that you should use it in basically all of your fights. Of course, only if you have space. But um, if you don't have space, honestly, I think you should just sell some other food items, even if they're permanent or reusable, that are not um, as great as the meta ones because Rules Rue is a very good uh, backup food to use and uh, it's very good to use solely for the jump power too because of that extra mobility that helps in dodging attacks. But anyway, yeah, very useful, I think. So next up, we've got the S Poison. So what this food does is it gives you a plus 180% damage boost and plus 5 walk speed at the cost of 400 of your HP. Not mass HP, just your HP. It damages you by 400 HP. And of course, it is not reusable. It is also quite the expensive food item because it can be bought from the rules card shop for 75 million gold. So you've got to be pretty rich if you really want to use this. But anyway, this is very good in speedrunning, challenges, and well, plus 180% damage boost instantly, especially since you can buy multiple of them, you can achieve mass damage boost very very quickly in fights with S Poison. And as we all know, damage boost makes a huge difference on fights, especially if um, the enemy or enemies don't have damage caps. And it even gives you plus 5 walk speed as said earlier, that is very good. And um, unlike dark cheese and candy bag, uh, S Poison's walk speed boost has a cap of 34. So you can achieve even greater speeds than Dark Cheese and Candy Bag. That is very good. Mobility and damage boost. Splendid amounts at that. So for those reasons, I will put S Poison in meta. Because I do definitely think that it has a greater effect on fights than something like Rules Rue. Because what S Poison ultimately does is help you clear the fight out faster as it gives you more overall DPS. And what Rules Rue does is basically what S Poison already does in the sense that they both provide you with additional mobility that help you in dodging attacks and fights and sometimes getting away from the enemy. So that is why I rank S Poison in meta. Now we've got Sansar Soda. Now this soda is very, very good. It gives you a plus 20% damage boost, heals you by 100 HP, it's reusable, it's permanent, and it has a cooldown of 5 seconds. That is very, very good. It's basically um, Rancer Soda, but around 2 times better because, well it's even better than 2 times because it heals you by 100 HP um, in 5 seconds. So basically you're getting an extra 120 HP than Rancer Soda would in 10 seconds. So the healing is better on Sansa Soda. The damage boost is a lot better on Sansa Soda. The damage boost racks up very quickly, which will help in clearing out fights. And the cooldown is fast, but not too fast. So because of that, I will put this in meta. Now we've got the Super Burger. Now this is the most expensive food item. In the regular shop, the angry shop, it heals you by 750 HP and of course it is not reusable. Um, so yeah, it's pretty boring, it shares the same model with uh, burger dot dot question mark. But it is more than 3 times better than burger dot dot question mark. And it does definitely help um, in early game, especially for a fight like question mark question mark question mark or the first the ancient one that you fight to reset for the first time. But other than that, in end game or late game, it just there's there's a lot better options. So I'm just gonna put it in awful. Now we've got the only food that can be bought from the fun shop, um, or you know the backroom shop. It is the twin finger. Now this heals you by 1,000 HP, and then it gradually heals you by 20 HP every 0.25 second um, for a max of 400 HP. So this would take you. 
five seconds to reach that additional 400 HP, um, not accounting for lag. So basically in total, you would get a 1400 HP heal. Now this definitely does have more functionality than Super Burger because um, if you heal to max with Twin Finger, because um, if you get damaged while you're getting the gradual 20 HP uh, boost, you will still be able to heal for a short while, which can definitely change the outcome of the fight. So because of that, I will put it in okay lang. Because, well, yeah, it, ultimately, it's just giving you HP and that's it. But it does um, do pretty good at its job. So, yeah. Now, second to last, we got the ugly candy. Now this just heals you by 10 HP and gives you a plus 3% damage boost per use. And it has a cooldown of 5 seconds. So obviously hard mode ugly candy is better than this. So um, because you know hard mode ugly candy is just this one but better. I'm just gonna put it in okay long since you know early game it's pretty good. It still gives you damage boost with which is great in fights. But Pod Mode Ugly Candy is better, along with every every other item above it. So yeah, I think that's fair. Okay, so now the final food item that we will be ranking is the Wow Candy. Now this heals you by 40 HP, and it's buyable from the normal shop, the angry shop. Um, nothing special about it, just gives you 40 HP. Um, yeah, um, actually... Huh, shit, awful or belongs in the trash? Hmm. I will say... Yeah, okay, belongs in the trash is really not that good. Um, yeah, okay, I think that's fair. I will just review my tier list for a second to see if anything needs adjustments. Okay, so after reviewing my tier list for a bit, I think that it is fair. Now, do note that this is my personal opinion, so... If you'd like to argue why A is better than B, you may go on ahead and do that in the comments below. Now the only thing that may be kind of hard for me to decide is Anniversary Cake's placement. Uh, because, you know, it's kind of between meta and very useful, I'm not gonna lie. Because the healing you get from it is a lot, the cooldown is good, and it's basically a free Masker Soul. But I think I will just um, let it stay and very useful. So anyway, that's going to be about it for this video. If you enjoyed, please um, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. But anyway, yeah, you don't have to, of course. I just want your money. I'm greedy like that. But anyway, this is Dolphic. Peace. Killing them in the UK, everybody gonna say UK.